Good morning, Tim Rutledge here from Redline Bicycles here at Sea Otter. And I'm here to present our new 2012 Redline Cyclocross bikes. Uh, I'm going to start with our team level. And this is our new full carbon uh, Conquest team. And this year the news is that not only do we have a full um, monocoque uh, carbon frame, but we trickled it immediately to both the Conquest team and the Pro. So all of the features and all the things I'm going to talk about today on this team model will be all the same features that you'll have on the Conquest Pro. Uh, this year, uh, to unveil this, uh, this carbon frame, we, uh, we had been working on this for about a year, and some of the things that we've done are putting together all the ideas that we've had for quite some time of what we wanted to do with uh, our own version of a full carbon frame. Uh, to start with, the fork. The fork is a tapered head tube and then uh, well, the, the headset head tube is a tapered. The fork is a 1.5 with a carbon steer tube and the uh, fork looks like a straight leg but it has a slight bend to it and a very nice riding fork similar to the design we've had on the team previously. Then uh, as we look at the frame itself the most striking feature you, you see is that the bike has no external cable routing. Everything is inside. The uh, brake cable up top is the housing running full inside the top tube of the frame with, with the guide piece there and so that no contaminants can get to the brake, uh, running, brake cable running to the rear. As we look at the down tube here and the top tube, we don't see any of the derailleur wires. They're running inside the down tube, and they come down, and they come to this spot underneath the bottom bracket. The bottom bracket is very unique in that it is a full aluminum shell with BB30 bearings inside, and those BB30 bearings are totally inside of that aluminum shell so that no contaminants can get to them. In other words, water isn't coming in up above and running down to the bottom bracket area. It is running down to the bottom bracket area, but it's running around the uh, sealed uh, aluminum cup that's there. In order to run the cables, what we've done is, I can show you here, we have made a bottom bracket that indeed runs, get a hold here, indeed runs uh, with an opening and you take the plastic um, cup piece off and we've taken this one off. And so what you see here is a drain hole for water that does get into the frame, but then you can see the aluminum shell and the cables running over the top of that to the front derailleur, and the one running to the rear runs off to the side here through the chain stay and comes out here. There is a housing stop here that the cable's running bare to there and then coming out so that, in other words, everything is very, very clean and easy to get to. By removing this port, you can run the cables out here and then run them. And if you look really, really hard inside there, it's very hard probably for video to see, but inside there is almost a funnel that lets you run the derailleur wire to the front cable straight up through. And it comes out on the top side here, and you can maybe see it right there where it exits through the top of the frame. Now, keeping to the bottom bracket area, you can see super stout chain stays and how it extends underneath the bottom bracket in order to uh, gain all the stiffness that you need in the rear end. And cyclocross now is such as I would say, more of a dirt criterion where you're accelerating out of every corner. You have to have a rear end that's super stiff and stout and gives you all the power that you put into the pedals, into that rear wheel to power out of every corner. So super stiff bottom bracket, sealed shell, cables running through, but then we keep it very, very wide for mud clearance and there is no mud shelf here. See, in other words, it's very smooth so there won't be buildup of mud here and that's important. You know, at uh, Redline Bicycles, we're, we're Seattle-based, and we're all about mud and water. We always know how to deal with that. And uh, other areas of the country might have a dry season, like Boulder had one muddy race last year. For us, that would be unheard of. We, we have muddy races every weekend. So we deal with mud and mud buildup. Uh, and for us, that's what cyclocross is all about. And we always try and engineer and keep our bicycles so that they will be the very best in the very worst conditions. Moving along, uh, as we look at the rest of the bike, kind of taking you to the rear, what you see on the frame here is a pierced uh, canty mount. In other words, the 
mount itself is supported by the carbon fiber tube on both sides so that you don't have any bit of flex going on. So when I go ahead and put on the brake, you don't see this post flexing. It is really, really well supported here in the frame. So we call that a, a pierced uh, brake mount for that canty post. Then we look, look to the rear here, and move it around here for you. See, uh, we have the bike already with canty posts. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, it's not canty post. Canty post. We have the disc mounts with uh, a post mount already on on the frame, ready to go for a disc brake. We have the cable routing here, so the hydraulic line can come in and be easy to get to, but yet it keeps the cable housing out of the way. Uh, and then with this disc tab, if you look again even closer, you notice on the back side here where the wheel exits pretty hard to get in there you can see how it's all cut away so it's easy access for the wheel to come out for a wheel change again that's that's a, a design feature that Kurt Hall our engineer has built into this frame got a small little bridge here plenty high no no clearance issues there and then we go with a very very short uh, cable housing stop here so that we can have room to move the canty uh, cable carrier uh, up on a 48 centimeter frame. Five frame sizes, 58 through 48, and on these it's all a mold that we've opened on each of these sizes. And we talk about uh, redline carbon technology and what redline carbon technology means, or RCT, is that this is our own mold, our own design, our own uh, Form, formation of uh, the carbon fiber that's put into this frame and it's built at our own factory. Uh, we're part of the Excel group uh, which is out of the Netherlands and they uh, indeed have their own carbon facility where our frames are built. So it is not an off-the-shelf uh, frame. It is our own design built at our own factory. So quality control issues and issues of design are really unique and so when we talk about RCT, Redline Carbon Technology, that's what we mean. We've had that before uh, on our carbon forks that were our design of crown and our design on the leg length, but uh, now it really extends to this full monocoque frame. Uh, one last thing, uh, we do stay with, with two water bottle mounts. I know a lot of people uh, do, do like that because they indeed find that this bike is 17 and a half pounds as it comes stock. It's a really great bike for adventure riding, for road riding in the winter time. Uh, so it is great to still have two bottle mounts. It doesn't take anything away from it being a great race bike. Uh, matter of fact, it doesn't, doesn't take anything away from it at all. Um, one other thing I just want to want to point out on this this frame design is that it's a slightly sloping top tube, and this is nice because when you go to grab the bike to uh, flick it and carry it over the barrier, when we talk about flick, that means that your hand is the top tube and your forearm rests here. And when you go to lift the bike and take it over a barrier, you don't don't literally, literally want to want to do this. You always find technique is better by flicking the bike over the barrier. This way you're not lifting the bike as high and you're expending less energy. So with a slightly sloping top tube, this allows your hand to come down and grab the bike a little bit easier. So this is a 58 centimeter. The weight on this frame is 1200 grams. The weight on the fork is 480 grams. So anything smaller and everything else is smaller than this will be indeed lighter weight.